Happy Bad Air Day! Well, um, since you all are at home and I have given you your homework, you need to kind of know how to do what I've asked you to do, which is plot structure diagram. We've already done that in class. So again, just like in class, when we wrote out our plots on our plot structure diagram, you have a one, two, three, four, five, and six. You know what they're called, but now you have to read uh, three fairy tales and give me three plot structure diagrams. For instance, and this is why I'm doing this right now, so I hope you're watching. If you decide to do Cinderella by Grimm's Fairy Tales, Cinderella, which you can't now because I'm doing it as an example, um, you have to tell me in your plot structure diagram what's in the introduction. For instance, for this one, Cinderella's dad dies. I'm just gonna call her Cinder for short. Cinder's dad dies. Then remarries. If you don't like doing it actually on the plot diagram, this is all in the introduction, setting the scene. You can actually list them out under introduction. Cinderella's dad dies. If you would like to do it that way, that's fine. Anyway, you keep going and then you figure out what your initial incident is. Um, for Cinderella, that would be probably getting invited to the ball. Gets invited to ball and then what happens to her? She can't go. You would continue up your plot structure cleans all the dishes, yada, 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 birds come and give her a dress. Yes, it's not like the Disney version. There's no mice making her dress. Come give dress. She cries at a tree for her mom. All of this stuff is all happening in the rising action. Eventually she gets to the ball, dances with Prince, loses shoe but this is still going on and it's not until um she gets locked up and eventually um the sisters chop off their own feet also in the rising action you know their toes and their heel and if you don't know what i'm talking about you should maybe also read cinderella's grimm's fairy tale version because it's pretty bloody and gruesome and interesting but eventually you get to the climax where the shoe fits. Yay! And then we have our falling action. Um, Sind and Prince plan wedding. Invite mom and sisters because Cinderella's nice that way. But as that happens, the resolution slash denouement, mom's eyes get plucked out, not plucked out, poked out, pecked out, that's the word, pecked out by birds. And everyone else lived happily ever after. So you're gonna do a plot structure diagram for three Grimm's fairy tales. Even if you think you know the fairy tale because you say, oh, I know Cinderella. As you can tell from this one, you probably don't. P.S. Don't do Cinderella. All right, enjoy your bad air day.